Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Hey, Tea Sippers, and thanks for joining me here for another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered. And I have my homeboy, Ronnie with me. Hey, what's good, T? I'm doing okay. I'm kind of upset. I had to jump on and do my podcast. Everybody was like, you need to do a podcast. It's been nothing but chaos and just nonsense going on this morning. So I guess let me start at the beginning. So if you guys don't know, um, yesterday I did a live stream on YouTube. And I had told everybody in that live stream, I don't know if you got a chance to catch it, but Mm -hmm. one of the things I was saying is that I'm not tripping off of them necessarily breaking into the Capitol. It is what it is. What's going to bother me is what's going to come of this, the punishment that's going to be doled out. And I was saying that they're going to spin this as a way to blame social media and say that these fringe groups were created on Twitter and Facebook and on Instagram and that we need to start censoring even more. We're already being censored, but they're going to use this as the catalyst to watch people and to censor people even more. So I woke up this morning and that's exactly what was on the news. So I'm going to go ahead and play those news um, clips right now so y'all can check it out. Thank you. What's really important to understand is that what happened yesterday on Capitol Hill was not a surprise. If you've been following the dark web, these plans and preparations have been everywhere. We have seen headlines like these for months leading up to yesterday's warning of increasingly violent rhetoric. Being Told you they're going to start blaming the Internet. Right here what did I tell you all on my live stream? Two people who have been following this closer than anyone are Brandy Zdrozny and Ben Collins. They're going to start censoring the Internet. Thank you both. Ben, help us understand, when you watched this play out yesterday, did you know this was going to happen? Have you been reading this playbook for weeks or months? Yeah, I called Brandy uh, two nights ago and I said, I haven't had this feeling since Charlottesville. I know something is gonna happen tomorrow Mm -hmm. and I don't know what it is. It'll be a miracle if it doesn't happen. And uh, it happened, it was, you know, it's exactly what they said they were going to do. Um, you know, for the last month on forums like the Donald, which is a pro-Trump forum, and 4chan and 8chan, where QAnon is hosted, um, they said Donald Trump crossed the Rubicon on January 6th. They had a hashtag, trending on Twitter, by the way. And uh, the point of that was to, just like in Julius Caesar, cross the Rubicon, declare a dictatorship, kick off the Civil War. We will be there for you. Uh, you know, we will storm the Capitol for you. They wanted a Civil War style, Robert E. Lee style leader. And they thought they found it in Donald Trump. And uh, look, I I don't know how much clearer they could have been. They flooded the internet with explicit directions for January 6th and nobody listened. And it's it's kind of hard to hear the excuse that it's just the internet. It's not just the internet, this is real life. Mm Mm-hmm. You're, ben, I, I think you're speaking truth to, to what is happening here. And it, it frankly gives me chills to hear you talk about it, right? Uh, the idea that you, you sort of had that feeling. So, correct. This was bubbling up on the Internet, right? These people got out of the web and into the Capitol. And now, Brandy, there is this kind of retroactive filter trying to be put on it by some close to the president, allies of his, that, oh, this this wasn't actually the people who were on the Internet. This was Antifa coming in and doing something else. Uh, obviously, that's not the case. The president, we should note, praised... The, the rioters who had come into the Capitol, uh, he indicated his support for them, said, we love you and you're special, go home, but we still like you. Talk about who these rioters actually are, Brandy. Um, yeah, these rioters uh, are the internet come to real life. Ben and I spend a lot of time in these spaces and it's not a fun place to be. Um, we've seen it all summer though. We saw it since the lockdown uh, orders. This is Militia groups, Proud Boys, anti-maskers, COVID deniers, and QAnon extremists. Um, the woman who was shot and killed by police yesterday had a Twitter account, and it's about QAnon and Pizzagate conspiracy theories. You know, it, it turns out it's really easy for the internet to appear in real life, and people mean what they say online. Um, you know, they came, all of these disparate groups came together at the behest of the president. For months, this president has been telling extremists to stand by. 
um, and spreading QAnon misinformation about the election uh, to Georgia officials and to his followers. You know, they got on planes and came to D.C. because he told them to come. They marched to the Capitol because he told them to march to the Capitol. And then, you know, they decided in Trump's language, you know, not to be weak. And they had run out of options. And this is what happens when you make a, a, a gang of conspiracy theorists and flood them with propaganda and misinformation and then tell them they have no other option. All right. So you guys just heard a small snippet of that. Um, and that's what they're doing now. And it's gotten so bad that when I went to go post some more information this morning, within two seconds of me posting, because there's a gentleman, we're going to talk about him in a second, but there's a gentleman with horns and I'm going and I'm posting stuff, breaking down how I feel like a lot of this stuff was set up and planned. And within two seconds, Instagram took it down and said that they're taking down my post for violating community guidelines and they removed it for violence and dangerous organizations. It is getting ridiculous. So I just been in the Discord all morning because I ain't got time for the censorship and the nonsense. No, nah, I think it's a whole heap of bullshit. Um, and I definitely agree it is a psyop because um, we've been seeing this for a long time where mainstream media has basically lost control of people. Like when you started seeing social media like really dictating the movements of things in a constructive way. You have friends groups, of course. But people who like seeing holes in the bullshit where you saw yesterday where they allegedly stormed the Capitol, where people were escorted in, you know, people taking selfies and whatnot, you know, doing a little bit of fear porn. But when you saw it, it was just like a little uh, a live blooper reel. So just getting people worked up. And I might and I agree with the part where they're going to sit there and really put a tight leash on basically social media, mainly the ones who are moving and shaking and, and showing people like through the bullshit and whatnot. There's more to it, but then again, it's like, that's the power of propaganda and fear. Right. And that's the thing, you know, talking about fear, that is the easiest way to control a populace is fear. And also realize that we're also dealing with C-19. And yep. C-19 affects the immune system and fear and anxiety and, you know, panic attacks and just all this stuff that we're going through constantly being fed this bullshit is causing our immune systems to weaken and it's causing us to get sicker. We are getting sicker more or less from the propaganda than even the C-19. Yeah, asphyxiation by uh, stress and fear. Mm. Yeah. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers. To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.